in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden history. This concept has literally been good every single year the game has been out, and I believe that it will also be very effective in Madden 23. So uh, what I wanted to talk with you guys today about is my curl flat concept out of a 2x2 two two spread formation. Why do I like this out of a 2x2 two two spread? Because it's going to basically be able to stretch the entire defense horizontally. I'm going to be giving you a setup today that's going to be very effective on both sides of the formation, regardless of their zone drops, regardless of really whatever they do. So what I'd like to do here is put my best receiver on the uh, right side of the field, but you could also put him on the left side of the field. It really doesn't matter to me. And we're just going to come out in the play curl flats. Now, what's so good about this play is we already have our running back on this angle route, this Texas pattern. So we don't really need to uh, put him on that route. And what I like to do is run this with my running back to the uh, short side of the field. And I have the quick base, one of the best runs in Madden 22, as you can see. And this is one of the many reasons why this formation is so good. So what I wanted to do is first break down the basic tenet of the curl flat concept. And that is a flat route and a curl route. Now, ideally you wanna put your curl route outside of the numbers. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it so there's really, really one zone in the game that is going to be able to guard it. So as you can see right there, that's cover four, able to beat this really effectively. Now I'm gonna show you cover four with a hard flat. You're gonna see basically the same an animation. As you can see, that curl route is wide open. I'm gonna then show you this with a cover, um, a cover four with a cloud flat. So you see here, I've got the cloud flat. These are all stock zones. We're gonna get into zone drops in just a second here. You'll see that that looks like it's covered, but you can throw this on the sideline. Let me show you that one more time here. So again, I'm just gonna go through and show you the curl flat adjustment. And what you'll be able to see here is the curl flat will suck outside. Again, it's being a the game's being a little weird in terms of just the way the practice mode animation is happening. But as you can see, it gets wide open against that. And this has to do again with the flat route. You want this flat route to pull um, the, the the curl or the cloud flat outside. And as you can see, I can easily, especially with Gunslinger, be able to throw this ball. Now, um, you're going to see a little bit more of an exaggerated animation on the left side because there's more physical space. So you'll see here again, that cloud flat gets pulled out. I can cut that off and easily aggressive catch that against a cloud flat zone. Now, the other thing that I wanted to break down for you in this video is a seam flat zone. A lot of people don't talk about seam flats and how they work in, in terms of uh, Madden. What you're gonna notice here is they're just going to shoot out to the flat. And as you can see there, I don't know why Rogers threw the ball 15 yards inside but you can see that the curl flat is wide open. Let me show this to you uh, again. Typically what you're gonna get with this, I'm gonna put the vertical hooks on the field. You will typically get curl, or um, I'm sorry, hook curls. But anyways, if they do use the vert hooks, um, you're just gonna pass lead that to the outside. And as you can see, it gets wide open. So we've covered every zone except for one. The only other, there's two other underneath zones that I wanna go over. The first one is a Tampa two. And the reason why I wanted to go over Tampa two is because it has a cloud and a vert hook. And again, you'll notice something that's really interesting about this Tampa two interaction. Typically with cover two, um, one of the things that you'll notice that I think is really cool about it is because the cloud flat is already outside leveraged, you'll see here that if that's covered, you can easily throw the ball to your flat route a lot of times though i do want to quickly point out that if you're on the wide side of the field you're going to have a little bit more room again for these these routes to get open so i just want to kind of show you both curl routes but essentially what i want to get at here is if that if you get this this curl to sit outside the numbers you see here on the left side it's sitting outside the numbers i can still come back and aggressive catch that this year's game the zone logic is really bad and so as you can see that gets open so another thing that I wanted to quickly point out about the cover two is if they were to play a hard flat, so let's say they shade down out of a cover two defense, what you'll see is you'll see that the curl is wide open again. So basically there's two zones that really get the, the, the cover that's the best and it's the curl flat zone out of a cover three or the cloud flat specifically from a corner outside of the cover two. And the reason why that's even effective is primarily just because of the jam. And again, if that happens, I can easily throw this ball to my flat right over there. So let me show you now the curl flat zone out of the cover three. What you're gonna notice is this zone is going to get sucked outside every single time. Now, it's also, if you wait on this route, so let's say that you kind of wait on the curl route or you're late on this route, you'll see that eventually once your flat route settles up, the curl route will come back inside um, of, the, of the field of play to be able to guard that. 
that is going to bring me to my zone drops now if you're watching this video and you enjoy the depth at which i'm going through this concept i would really encourage you to check out my patreon membership and the reason why is because we have all all kinds of ebooks in there we've got exclusive breaks uh, breakdowns pro tips meta updates all that stuff over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in our patreon membership breaking down all of the concepts that you need to know to be effective in this game so i'd really encourage you if you want to get my full spread ebook or my full trips tied in ebook there's over 22 offensive and defensive guys in there so chances are the formation that you're wanting to run is already going to be broken down in that ebook we've got bunch bunch tied in u trips spread trips double all that stuff um, so if you want to check that out it's only ten dollars to sign up and you get access to everything by becoming a member you get access to all of our tips all of our ebooks and all of our updates to those guides as well so let's jump into zone drops now so this is a curl flat or i'm sorry a quarter flat that is zone dropped at 10 yards just want to show you it still gets sucked outside so as you can see right there that's very consistent and it's going to consistently get sucked outside um, if the defense leaves their defense like this now a seam flat is a little bit different notice that they stay inside so we can just simply check down to our curl or i'm sorry our, our flat route on the sideline one of my favorite things about these flat routes this year is they stick really well uh with the route now on the left side i want to show you something else here you're going to notice again you see how they stick so i can just pass lead up my flat and you see i can still get about 10 to 15 yards so seam flats at 10 yard depth will stop this and then also curl flats you'll see right here um, similar to what happened before as Jair Alexander made the play of his career right there um, literally literally picked that off from like 10 yards back but you'll see here that these curl flats this year they get sucked out and then they eventually come back in so it's one of the big key things I think for this offense because we can kind of build around that and I'm going to come back to that in just a second but again on the left side you'll see see how they kind of stay outside and I can throw the curl inside now another little tip that I want to talk about is an out route with a um, you know in the same similar concept. So what we can do on the left side is we can put Devonte Adams on a smart routed out route. Now what that means is I typically like to put this inside guy on a hitch or a drag or a streak. Any of those three routes will do. And what you'll see is against this cover three, a lot of times you can throw this out um, right there on the sideline. If you can't typically your running back is coming back across the formation wide open another little trick with this is again the more you know you could easily also just do a simple five yard out and if it's cover three you'll see right here the hook curl did a good a really good job of guarding that but again it can't guard both that and the angle route so another thing really important is a lot of people in madden they really don't run like a hook curl on both sides of the field anymore they'll run maybe one and so what i want you to see about that is if i don't have a hook curl okay then this hitch becomes wide open so if there's no yellow zone the hitch is wide open easy read for your offense so this is a concept that is very similar to curl flat if you will um, we're just trying to kind of pull the zone outside and you can use a zig you can use an out you can use a whatever you want to um, and then again you have your running back coming over the top just to kind of fill out the concept if you want to learn more about out routes and how to throw them against literally every coverage in the game i'd really encourage you to join my patreon again it's it's all in there um one last thing that i did want to show you this is more of a trips tight end concept but you can put this guy on a curl and a lot of times what you'll see is again that curl flat zone will suck inside if for example your out route is not at 10 yards so let's say for example that we did something like this you'll see this curl flat zone will typically suck inside and i can easily throw that and at least get you know five to ten yards uh typically if i break a tackle or whatever so that is pretty much how i like to run um the curl flat play real last point just want to really remind you if they're running a curl flat there is a little bit of a glitch with the curl flat it doesn't really guard the curl the only zone in the game that i have found that consistently guards a curl route is you have to use zone drops and it's a 10 yard zone drop uh seam flat but then as you can see i can easily throw the ball down underneath so this is um you know again this this is the curl flats concept how you can use it against anything 
right there real quick that was a cloud flat and hard flat and all that you see they suck outside just like the the curl flat does so thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about this type of offense or if you want to get better at the game i would really encourage you to join our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up and it gets you unlimited access to all and i mean all of our men 22 offensive and defensive guides there's a link in the description below that you can click on that'll take you right over to the membership page where you can get signed up thanks for watching and if you want to sign up head on down to the description and click the link down below